Yeah, yeah, what's going on? This is Focus of the Flow Mode Crew, bboydojo.com and Cypher Studio. The knowledge drop is back. This video is going to teach you three main ways to make your footwork more powerful and explosive. Using the advice from this video is going to make it possible for you to smoke anybody with just your footwork and eventually turn your footwork into a power move or blow up. So let's get right into it. Let's dive deep into the science of footwork. Number one, the radius. We can see footwork as geometry. The basic foundation for footwork is the circle. A circular, circular motion around the center point of the circle, which in this case is the arms holding your weight in the middle, right? Your rest of your body rotates around and your arms are in the center. The radius is the distance from your arms to the side, which is your knees or your sneakers in this case. The most simple way to make your footwork more powerful is to extend that radius, make that radius longer, which eventually makes the whole circle a lot bigger. This happens by extending your hips further from the center and that way the whole radius becomes longer. And this leads to what we call the extended style footwork. Don't think about it as moving your legs further, approach it from your hips. Your hips are the power center for all dancing and same goes for footwork as well. It's simple, but I believe it's the most efficient way as well. By extending your stance further on, you multiply the distance that you travel with the same amount of steps. Perfect examples of flows like this are the legendary b-boys Icy Eyes from the New York City Breakers and of course Maurizio, the next one from Italy with his space flow. Study their style and their, their stance and their flow in order to understand how far the radius is from somebody with, with smaller footwork. Number two, the snap. I first learned about the snap from b-boy Alien Ness. With the snap we mean the ability to speed up and stop at the speed of lightning and have your whole body involved with it, not just your legs. Think about it as the jab of a boxer. The ability to throw a jab in a blink of an eye just in your footwork. The ability to change your directions just as quick. Studying Bruce Lee's philosophy taught me a lot about this as well. In order to be explosive, one must be relaxed first. If you're already contracted, then in that case you won't be fast. You, you're going to be slow and stiff. So in order to have a powerful snap in your footwork, you must be able to relax in your footwork in order to be explosive and snap quick. Bruce Lee's book Tao of Jet Kune Do speaks about this a lot. You should check it out to get inspired. I've been working a lot on snap lately for, for my previous years. So see some footage over here in order to know what I mean. Let's move on to the third one, which is the articulation. Articulation. Let's see the dictionary defi definition of articulation. is a way that you pronounce your words. In that way, a good articulation is a clear way of pronouncing the words. Exactly the same goes for the physical language as well. Articulating your moves and executing them 110% can make a simple move way more powerful if you mumble your way through through your moves, then nobody is going to understand what you're saying with your moves. Over exaggerate your moves and stop properly when, when it's needed in order to make a simple move really, really powerful, no matter the speed that you have in it. To me, the best example about this is Nico from Throwdown Rockers, an old school b-boy from Sweden. Uh, what he does normally is often pretty simple, but the way that he articulates all of his moves makes them super, super powerful. If you haven't seen him, check the footage over here in order to get an understanding of what I mean. So cool, there you have it. The three ways of making your footwork more powerful. The radius, the snap, the articulation as well. Study your personal style now and see if you could add some of these aspects into your personal, personal flow. Um, add it to your daily practice and see some quick results in a month or two in your flow. Let's build more on these on our free course, how to make it past prelims. Sign up in the link below and you're going to learn how to use these into your advantage in entering competitions. This is Focus of the Flow Mo Crew and bboydojo.com signing out.